Hi, I'm Amy Bachman, and I got a great tip for you about using a wing needle. Most people, it comes with their sewing machine, but they're totally perplexed what it is. It's a great girl, and I love her because she's got big hips, and it makes beautiful holes in your linen, good holes in your fabric, and does some fun things with some stitches, but it's usually used in heirloom sewing. And I have one right down here, and you can see um, how it has different flanges that stick out on the side to side. It still has a regular hole in it um, for the thread, but it's wider. And what it does is as it goes through the linen or natural fabrics, it pushes it out of the way and the thread opens up and pulls a hole. So it's old fashioned hem stitching is what we like to see. And you see it on a lot of older uh, linens. The heirloom people like to use it with a stitch called entredeau. Um, and most machines have this uh, entredeau stitch. You might want to reference your menu or stop in and see your dealer. I'm sure they're glad to show you because that's probably where you're going to have to find this specialty needle. Um, you won't find it at any like large box store or craft store. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to put this needle in my machine and I'm going to start off using a contrasting thread so you can see the type of stitch I'm doing and then I'm going to switch to a white thread so you see how it's supposed to look. Okay, the needle's already in and as everything else with your sewing machine, the right foot for the right job. So make sure if your sewing machine calls for a specific foot, that's the one you use. But you have to use one that has a tunnel underneath. Um, it has a little bit of a groove. It's not totally flat. So these heavy stitches can slide right underneath. This is the one that my machine calls for, but I have an extra foot that I purchased. It's called an open toe, and there's nothing here, so I can see exactly where I'm going. This foot has the same tunnel, but it has what we call a closed toe, but it's still clear with a center needle mark, so I can follow my hemline um, very easily. Okay, so I turned up one layer of hem and I still have a raw edge. Um, I know you're thinking, oh, you should have double turned it so it doesn't fray its linen. Well, that's what I love about this wing needle and this entredeau stitch is the fact that I'm centering my needle where half is uh, my hem side and half is the single layer side and I'm putting the needle right where that comes together. So I'm sewing through both layers of fabric but right on the edge of that raw edge. You can see the machine goes in and out, in and out several times in this hole. I made it larger so you can see it. Traditionally this is done where it's very tiny where you don't see anything. And of course the heavier your thread the less of a hole you're going to have. And um, when we switch this out to the white um, and we'll get a close-up of it so you can see how it is. But what's happening is that wing needle is poking a hole in the fabric at different points and it's actually kind of melding that raw edge or mushing that raw edge right into the fabric. It's a very cool look. And I love linen dish towels um, because they dry so nice, especially when you're doing stemware or something that's a little more fragile. Now it's not the only stitch you can do. You want to pick a stitch that goes in and out of that hole several, several times. So you might want to experiment a little bit um, as long as the stitch repeats itself over and over again. I have these little star stitches um, that I like. It makes almost like a snow effect, a snowflake effect. And this one looks very pretty um, with the wing needle as well. And you can go and test, but you want your, the needle to fall in and out of the hole more than one time or it's not going to do you any, any benefit. Other thing, if your scissors, you have built-in scissors in your sewing machine or you have a built-in needle threader, now's not the time to use them. Anytime you use a specialty needle, you have to hand thread the eye of your needle and don't use your little scissor button because if the needle's too wide, it may grab your cutter and not cut and then just make you mad. So here's what we have. You can see this is the entredeau stitch. Now it's quite large. It's like rows of diamonds. And then I have this uh, little flower or snowflake stick stitch that I really like. And when you look at the back, you can see you're only seeing white, a little bit of white thread, a little bit of blue. But you can see what happened to that raw edge. It just got pushed right in there and kind of encased in all that thread. So I have very little bulk on this hem. And very few of us wear linen linen anymore. 
um, in clothing, but it's a beautiful way to hem a linen skirt. It just looks so expensive. Um, let me grab my white thread. And a white thread, a thin thread. Um, if you can find a 60 weight cotton thread, that is the way to go. Sometimes you'll, it's called bobbin thread or lingerie thread. Just make sure it is cotton. My other trick is, is, you saw me, I always wet the eye of the needle, not wetting the thread. When you wet the thread, it causes the thread to swell, which makes it harder to get in that little hole. When you wet the eye of the needle, it grabs the thread and helps you pull it through. Okay, I'm going to go back to that entredeau stitch. This, this one's a little different. Let's see. I'm not going to make it so big this time. And I'm going to center it using my open toe foot right along that edge. Now you're not going to really see this until I'm done, but you may see some holes. I'll do an inch or so, and then I'll do that little flower or star stitch. not seeing any thread hardly at all. Let's do the next guy. There we go. I'm gonna pick one more stitch so just you can see how it changes up. Grab this and see if this, this gray will add a little bit of contrast. I'll put it underneath here. I don't know if you can see the little holes and how delicate that looks with that fine thread. And it's just such a pretty, a pretty look. So anytime you kind of get a piece of linen or some linen toweling, it's a beautiful effect. It's easy to hem. And if you get some nice linen on sale, they make gorgeous um, gifts to take them, hem them with the wing needle, maybe do a monogram on them, a little hand towel for someone's bathroom. It's a great idea. For more tips and techniques, please join us at SewInform.com because the more you know, the more you sew.